Hello, today let's talk about Trello and uh, we'll see how it can help you to manage your workflow process and how you can manage all projects inside this wonderful software. You've probably heard the definition of Kanban board. I don't know if it was Trello who invented it, but it's certainly Trello who popularized this um, definition and Kanban board became renowned throughout the world because of Trello. So let's take a deeper look at Trello features and figure out how you can use it in your daily work. And uh, you can start your Trello account with building different workspaces. So a workspace is the largest element inside Trello. If let's say you have different companies or different offices and branches, you can separate your business by creating different workspaces. Then inside these workspace, you can create your boards, which will be projects or any other kind of activities, depends on what structure you have in your work and in your business and you can create a collection for every board so if you have a company with different departments you can quickly filter by this collection and see only those projects that belong to a certain department then let's go into a board a board is a central element in a Trello in my opinion it's um, an equivalent of a project where you can list all activity you will be working on. You can create a blank new board or use different Trello templates to create already um, ready boards like this one I have here. And every board consists of tasks or cards, how they're called in Trello, separated by lists. So lists are a good way to sub-project your board and a card, this is a basic activity which you will be working on. A board may have different views. So that's a classic Kanban view. It may be a table board, which is more like the view you can find in other tools we've previously looked at like Asana or Trello, uh, sorry, or Monday.com and there are some other views you can enable for your board. Let's switch to the basic one. So as I said here you have different cards inside your board and when you open any card you can see that it has a description field in the middle of it and it has a lot of buttons here on the right side where you can assign people to your board create different labels which will help you a lot to further report and analyze your work based on these labels or you can create a custom field which can become a kind of advanced filter and uh, you may have multiple choices and options for this custom field there is an option to set a checklist which can be a further division inside your card if it's not enough for you just to have single cards you can have these checklists and then go over them when you work on this card. Any board can be created into a template so when you start a new project you just copy a card with all its settings in turn um, a new board from a template or you can simply copy it or move the entire card into a new, um, a new board that you create. Um, let's now return back to the board view. So there are a lot of other functionality available uh, inside your board settings. For example, you can enable different power-ups. Power-ups is a feature inside a Trello which can be there internal 
development, all of this can be third-party applications that enhance your process. For example, I have two um, power-ups enabled here. I'm going to talk about one of them a little bit later. But just to fix this information, you can use power-ups, for example, the one I have to track my time on different cards. And together with power-ups, you can activate automation, for example, rules uh, which let you quickly move things around. For example, you can enable a rule when you uh, move a card into a certain section or list, um, it gets a status of a closed card or any other status. And you can even create your custom card buttons as described in the tutorial. You can do that as well as for the entire board. This can be a custom button if you need it. Um, yeah, so as you can see, Trello is a simple but very powerful tool and it's very beautifully built and has a, a nice um, UI and UX. And um, as I mentioned before, you may need some power-ups to enhance your process. For example, I would like to track time that I spend on different cards and then see the result of this work. This may be uh, helpful for my business to later sell these hours to my clients. So I'm going to introduce you a um, software called EverHour. And um, the truth is that, and the great benefit, you can use two versions of EverHour. One as a power-up. So you just go to the Trello library and install EverHour power-up, which is uh, fully free. You don't need to pay at all. That power-up adds time tracking buttons directly into your Trello. So you can see um, them if you open um, your card. You can see time tracking field in the middle and start tracking your time with a timer, adding hours manually into the card. And then you can update these hours if you think that they're incorrect. As well as set an estimate which can be the number of hours you believe to spend on a card. When you go back to the main board screen you will see time icon here which allows you to build very um, very easy reports and you can download them as a CSV file to later understand how much time was spent on different activities. So as I said, this um, functionality is completely free and it comes from PowerUp, but you can also sign up for an account with EverHour and uh, enable a full-scale integration with Trello. Um, it also requires the installation of uh, the EverHour browser extension, which allows you to also see EverHour time tracking feature inside your card. And you can also use timer, add hours manually, um, set estimates. Yeah, just be aware that this functionality is not connected with a power-up. These are separate tools. But the truth is that um, you later can go into EverHour and build very powerful reports. And what is more fascinating, this uh, full-scale integration allows you to manage budgets and billable time. So that's super handy if you sell your hours. You can just make this project billable, assign user rates, then set a budget on your time. Um, if you'd like to repeat it, you can do it on a daily, monthly, and uh, weekly basis, and then track this budget, as well as uh, see the billable information. If you click on a time reported into a project, you can go into the summary page, which shows you the cost of the time, 
and um, how much time was spent in general within the period selected you can also get a very easy report here similar to what you can find in the power up and you can see activity how, how time was reported when you go into your ever hour account and open reports here you can create a custom report I did one already uh, which shows you how time was spent and where so I see exact titles of my cards, lists and projects and uh, together with it I can add tags and custom fields if I need to analyze them as well so that's very handy you can take a look at, at its structure so there are quite a lot of columns here on the right side you can use and then build your report and when it's done report can be downloaded not just as a CSV but also as Excel or PDF file and you can even send it to somebody and uh, set the day and time when this report should be sent automatically so I find this extremely useful in my uh, work life and in my daily working process so I think that's that's all for today let's meet together one more time in other videos and if you like this video please um, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care.